Now, in 2017, Ghana lost $177 million to the invasion of fall armyworm. While some level of control has been achieved using synthetic insecticides, these chemicals are associated with human and animal poisoning. Well, scientists at the Crops Research Institute have been exploring other management tactics this more in the following reports. The project, dubbed Management of Fall Army Worm for Sustainable Food Security in Africa, was started in January 2020. It is funded by the Korea Africa Food and Agriculture Cooperation Initiative, Kafashi. The project is aimed at searching for biological control agents that could be bred in the lab for field release control of fall army worm. The project therefore found a natural enemy known as Telenomus remus. Life cycle of the fall army. The adults will lay eggs, the eggs will hatch into the larva, various larva stages, it pupates, then the cycle continues. And this telenomus will act on the first stage, let me see, first stage of the larvae, uh, adults laying eggs. And this telenomus will feed on the eggs. And they will, they will do everything is within. Then with time, instead of it hatching into the small larvae, it will emerge as a telenomus. Then the cycle continues. But because they are short-lived, keeping it in the lab is a bit some way. But when they get to the field, one telenomus can parasite the whole egg mass. The eggs are laid in layers, as maybe this is a single layer. There are some double and triple layer under the microscope. So you can see this view well under the microscope. There's much assurance that 90% efficacy that this, if multiplied, will be able to curb the devastating effect this farm has caused farmers. These insects, which have about 90% efficacy, have been mass bred in the lab and are ready to be released in maize farms to control fall army worm. As we start releasing today, it means we are going to continue. We are going to develop um, a strategy and maybe a calendar to know where we will be going. So right from the minor uh, maize growing season, which starts in September, we will be going to the farmer's field at um, uh, hotspots, hot, fall armyworm hotspot areas. Okay, so we, once the farmer gives us permission, we will do the release in the farmer's field. Reporting for joining us, Deborah.